Ladies and gentlemen, the cheat and one fact of the so-called King Abdullah, the self-appointed king of Saudi Arabia, that he's got a divorced wife who's living in London in the city as we speak, ladies and gentlemen. And she got daughters living in Jeddah. And he is imprisoning them. Imprison his daughters anywhere I prevent them from going abroad to see their mother, to have contact with their mother. It's such an inhumane treatment of your own family. And you're supposed to be the custodi custodian of Mecca and Medina, of the holy places. Isn't it is about time to say to yourself, the people of Al-Hijjah to say to you, bring your house, put your house in order. Instead of invading our Bahrain, instead of interfering in our country. Still, there is no human rights for the woman there. If she can't drive, they're supposed to be so opening and changing some of their laws. They came out yesterday actually telling us that things will be better now. So that's what's happening. It's the cheek, it's unethical of such a king ruling there but it's up to the people there actually anyway to keep him in power or to remove him and yes we've been told there are over 30,000 of politicals politi uh, politicals of conscience ladies and gentlemen inside Al-Hijaz as we speak opposing the regime there it's a sad sad reality they don't have the ethics they don't have the values <laughs> That if the headed regime of our Khalifa falls today, inshallah, or any minute from now on, there will be a political rupture in Bahrain. 